This film is the 1938 production Schiff ohne Klassen, die Wilhelm Gustloff, The Ship Without Classes. When launched at 208 meters in length, the Wilhelm Gustloff was the largest cruise ship ever built. It was launched on the 5th of May 1937 in the presence of Adolf Hitler. The ship could accommodate 1,471 passengers and 426 crew members. The 22 lifeboats had enough space for these 1,897 people. The Nazis claimed that the Wilhelm Gustloff was a ship without class built for people. In fact, its cruising career lasted less than 17 months. It had been built with the secondary function of being a hospital ship for use in the war. And in the Norwegian campaign in April 1940, it saw its first use in this role. However, it spent most of World War II in the harbour of occupied Gdynia where it was used as a training ship for U-boat cadets. As the Red Army ploughed through East Prussia in January 1945, there was a mass panic of the inhabitants to get out by any means possible. In the freezing winter where temperatures at night dropped to minus 20, the mainly female refugee columns swarmed towards railway stations hoping for a train or the ports hoping for a ship. On the 30th of January 1945, around 11,000 people found the Wilhelm Gustloff in the harbour in Gdynia. They might have felt safe for the first time in weeks with the promise of getting away from the Red Army. However, the ship had yet to meet up with Soviet submarine S-13 under Captain Alexander Marinesco. The Wilhelm Gustloff was to travel as part of a convoy, but the passenger ship Hansa had engine trouble and an old minesweeper could not keep up. So the Gustloff was only accompanied by a torpedo boat, the Loa. Captain Peterson of the Gustloff, believing that the ship's engines could not take the strain of full speed, the limited speed to 12 knots or 22.2 kilometers per hour, a speed at which Soviet submarines could match. Then, instead of hugging the coast in waters that would have been too shallow for submarines, but which could have been mined, they went out to sea. A radio report was received that a ship was heading towards them and they turned on the ship's lights. This allowed Captain Marinesco to spot the Gustloff. He needed two hours to catch up. Positioning the submarine between the coast and the ship, he fired four torpedoes, three of which struck the ship. The exact number of people on board the ship is not known, but it's likely to be more than 10,000. 1,239 people were saved. That is to say, around 9,000 people died. I've done a longer video on this subject, and if you'd like to see it, please subscribe.